Um, the next presentation is from uh, one of our sponsors, and Karen from ProQuest is um, going to present. And ProQuest have been um, a sponsor of the ANSL conference since 2011. So, um, very pleased to have them uh, with us. So, you want to make your way up, Karen? Good morning, everybody. I'm now very aware that I've, we're eating into your coffee break time, so I will keep this as quick as possible, OK? Um, somebody suggested that I've got 30 seconds to make an impression on you, um, so they suggested I do a song and dance routine. Rest assured, that's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> I think they might have heard my singing before. Anyway, just to get to um, talk to you, I am, my name is Karen Blenkinsop. I'm a book specialist for ProQuest. Um, and what I'm going to do is just tell you a little bit about what's new from ProQuest. There's been a few changes, as, as many of you know, in, in the last uh, year or so. So I'm just going to very briefly tell you a little bit about some of that. Before I do that, though, I was having a little look and I thought it was very interesting, the theme of the conference, which was, what, is it meant, what does it mean to be a librarian in the 21st century? Gosh, what a question. It opens up, you know, so a, a minefield um, there. So what I did was having a wee look and listening yesterday to some of the things that have been spoken about and some of the things that have been in your, your um, agenda, etc. And some of the words that come out of that were things like diversity, information, multiple offerings, satisfying and meeting your users' needs. There's been other uh, comments such as loving to learn, engaging people and smashing student stereotypes. Strangely enough, these things are extremely important. I know that's just a tiny bit of what, what, what we're talking about over the last two days. But strange enough, as a supplier, these are equally as important to us and really um, help us to help you in the industry going forward in order to support you and to support you supporting your users. Let's just see if we can go forward. Mid last year, uh, some of you will know that uh, ProQuest bought Coots in, uh, Information Services. I come from the Coots Information Services time uh, in, into the ProQuest side and I'm really fantastically delighted to be part of that family. I've been working in Ireland for about two years so I know some of the faces around the room and it's lovely to meet some of the other ones and please do come and introduce yourselves to me um, uh, so that I can get to know you all a little bit better. And we've been working around, and, and obviously with, the, with regards to the academic libraries, we've had a bit of a challenge in the last uh, few months with regards to this, the new Irish framework that's, that's going to play. So all of these things have, have been a learning curve for both you and for us as suppliers. And my, my remit really is a book side of things, so I'm going to tell you just a little bit about what's going on in that, in that aspect. So I would have been originally responsible for print books and for um, e-books. As we know, ProQuest have a huge bank of information um, between their databases, archiving, etc. But what I'm going to tell you a little bit about because of the Coots um, acquisition, then I'll tell you a little bit about that. Bringing the best together, we like to call this a bit of a marriage. <laughs> so what we're doing now, and what we now have uh, as a supplier is just a whole wealth of things that are going to help you, as I say, move forward and, uh, and help your users. We can be looking both at the library side of what we can do to help you as a library and also from that user side as well. So the productivity, we'll be looking at that from where we can assist um, you to improve at your end. We're also offering more in the way of content. We're talking about, you know, we've talked a lot of that your, your conference has been about digital and digital, yes, is massively important and it is a big thing for going forward. Print is still out there alive and kicking kicking hard and one of these things you know they're still there and there's still all of those services provided. Oasis, I don't know if all of you will know what Oasis is but Oasis is our online acquisition and information uh, system. Uh, there are plans that come from the, the CUT side into the ProQuest family and there are ongoing changes and developments within that which we're delighted about and I know that a lot of our users are delighted about as well. So as you can see there's already been some um, advances there 
with the end of last year. We're in the middle of doing more going forward and there are more to come. A lot of the OASIS um, attraction is that you can um, integrate with your library management systems and the latest one to be integrated to that is Alma. You will have seen that already mid-term um, things that we have already started that improvement going forward um, with some of that searching functionality, etc. And there will be a lot more to come in the way of content going into that. If you, I, I really, do, I'm not, I know I'm very conscious of time, so you know, come and speak to me afterwards about you know what's happening. So that's on the sort of system sort of side of it. And the other thing that has is new and is um, here on the market now is the eBook Central, which is what we, you will have, a lot of you will have content from eBrewery and eBL. Um, in the past that is now migrating into one new platform called eBook Central. And that is going to come onto the market. So there is a time frame for when everybody who does have that content to move forward to eBook Central. This is up and running for any new customers, etc. And if you do want more information, as I say, do please come and speak to me about that. Um, the eBook Central platform, because it has amalgamated all of that information from the two existing platforms, there's now something that over 730,000 uh, unique titles on there, and the majority of those, about six, over 600,000, are available for, for DDA. So it's just another way of us helping you to provide more content, more information um, for your users, your end users, whether that be researchers, whether that just be students, whether that be librarians and staff, all of that is there. So, as I say, we're currently working on that migration. Do come and speak to me. I don't have a, a specific time frame for you, um, but it is, it is there and, we, and we're working on that over the next few months. And we are really delighted to be working with you and for you and open to suggestions, so do please come and speak to me later. That's it from me. You can go and have a free now. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Uh, many thanks to Karen and to ProQuest and to all our sponsors and just a reminder again to go and to, um, to visit them. Uh, it's now, as you'll be happy to know, time for refreshments so we are running a little tight on time but if you could make your way back here for 11.40 and remember the quiz uh, closes at lunchtime so go and visit the sponsors and have a look at the posters and have a cup of tea and whatever else. Thank you. See you back here at 22.12. Uh,